This is our first time being here together as a group, Swerve City, myself, Montezzi over here, the man, the myth, the legend, the big head. You know what it is. Yeah, that's hey, what he said. Sirens back here behind the camera doing his thing. We don't have Mike the Goat, but you know what? He's going he's gonna come back and do us some more favors later on. He's here in spirit, I guess. He's in spirit. Yeah. But man, I am here. We are here together as a big musical family. And I say, I spell music with a Q at the end of this one, because right here we have the man, the myth, the legend, someone we've all grown up with, music soul child, man. This man has literally carved my adolescence in high school. Oh, wow. My, my heart breaks. I listen to music soul child. Uh, it <laughs> my, means like that. <laughs> you know, my, the, my children yeah. have been made to music yeah. soul child. Okay, music. TMI, but okay. Yeah, Thank I, you. Hey, Appreciate, hey, it. Hey, Appreciate it. Hey, I said authenticity. Yes, We're going to go there. Yes, We're going to go there. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, me growing up into the elder men that you see, I'm not that old, but this you see before me has all been shaped from this man right here. I'm pretty sure Montezzi can say the same. Oh, you know you take it over here. What, what you got to say? How do you want to greet our guests of the evening? Well, you know, man, um, before I get to that, man, I want to introduce to my right here. This man is a bona fide songwriter, one of the most talented R&B cats that I've... a whole I've... lot more than that, but we, we, can, start, we can start with that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're starting. Um, this is just definitely, starting. Definitely a... Dope artist, not mm -hmm. only songwriter, but this guy is one of the most talented cats I've been. Since I've been following you on the gram, brother, have to give you your roses. Mm -hmm. Been, you know, from your from your albums, your catalog. Definitely did my homework, man. I want to give a big, big shout out to my man Alex in the building. What yes, is sir. going on? Alex. Much love, Alex. man. I'm just thankful, you know, being in the room with some goats. You yeah, feel man. me, big bro? Yeah. You know what I mean? I always make a room for the kid. Much love. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, man. You know, even to what Swerve said, man. I remember. Man, I'll never forget this. I'm in my old grandmother's house. I'm on PS2 playing the getaway. And um awful, lovely game. Awful terrible <laughs> game. That dude got shot like 80 times when he dropped. Um I'm sitting back playing. I'm on the getaway and I just start dating, dating my baby mama. Well, the first one. And we're sitting uh -huh. and we're sitting there playing. And I'm listening to I'm listening to Soul Star, bro. Hey, and I'm Soul sitting Star. back and I'm just like, man, this guy is talking to me right now. Word, I'm word. going through all my arguments. I'm going through everything. And I word. remember there's a point in time, it's 2003, a freshman in high school, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I'm just going through uh, that period of time in life. So it's funny when you start talking to people you truly respect and idolize their music, you always go back to a time right, right. in your life. Yeah, yeah, you yeah know same. What I mean? You listen to and Baby Mother arguing with Baby Mother. Yes, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, like, yeah. You like you love me comes on. I'm just like, hey. Yes. Uh, let's go. Off, let's just, go. And I'm just feeling it. I'm like, man, I'm going through this right now. Let's go. We killed like a mother, but I'm going through it. <laughs> let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Just, all that, man. Just thank you, man, for all the all the memories you gave us, man, and what you're continuing to do, bro. Yes. Like it, it feels it feels great, man. So the first thing, you know, that, that's coming to my mind when I think about the great music soul child is like, when you're growing up, mm. how do you? Not say not be uh, be distracted from your goals. You know, when we're younger. There's so much that can that can stop us from. It's kind of overwhelming. Kind of overwhelming. Yeah. You know what I mean? And growing up in Philly, going to what you've gone through. How did you stay focused through that whole ordeal to become the man you are now? Uh, I didn't want to go back. Amen. <laughs> as simple as that. You yeah. know, um, when you make it out, the plan is to never go back. So whatever happened and whatever I needed to do, I had to keep moving forward even when I didn't want to because, you know, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make it seem like, you know, Philly was such a bad place or whatever. It wasn't the city itself. It was my personal timeline. I had a whole bunch of crap that was going on in my personal reality that I didn't understand. I didn't have a grip on it. I was super overwhelmed by. Um, so when I was blessed with the opportunity that I was blessed with, you know, it opened up so many doors and I was able to sort of express myself in ways that I, I I didn't know that I could do. You know, I mean, I knew I could do stuff, but I didn't know that I could do the, all of that. That's why, you right. know, my first album is so surprising to me because 
the intention wasn't to make an album. The intention was to find out what was it I could do. Wow. And for that to be sort of taken as, you know, high quality stuff, enough that a person would want to pay to put it out and promote it and present it to you people. Yeah. Genre defining. You know, and but that wasn't the intention. I was literally just trying to figure out what a music soul child is. You know, so and I think that it was necessary for it to happen that way because I think if I tried to like do it like intentionally, like, okay, I'm gonna set out to write this kind of song. I don't yep. think it would have came out the same way. I think I think it would I think it would have tainted the 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 overall product because it would it would have been too like premeditated. I think some of the best stuff it's essentially like that whole album was like really just super candid. I was trying to like I was doing stuff. Oh, this sounds cool. Okay, cool. This sounds cool with that. And you know, I was working with a couple guys at the time that would they were trying some stuff out. Wow. And we were just getting to it, and whatever felt right, whatever felt good, we just kept going with it. There was no like real plan, like you know, okay, this is the sound about. It. Even though you know, you always try to look for a sound, but we were just we was just we was just digging for it. And whenever whenever we struck, it was like okay, let's use this and let's keep this. Nowadays. So. Yeah, nowadays it's so difficult to it's find very, sound to like. Or well, because one. because there's not a lot of room, space, and time being allotted for you to build enough of a momentum for. Because True. that's where you know, in my opinion, and in my professional observation, that's where your sound comes from. Mm -hmm. You got to give it time to develop. It's like a kid, you know, a, 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 that person isn't that person until it grows up. Like, you can't base what that kid is off of their first two, three years of life. Like, Amen. you don't know what that kid gonna be. Like, they don't even know what they are, you know? Amen. Right. Amen. So you gotta give it time. So you're right. There's a lot of people who don't have, and there's a lot of people who don't have the tolerance or the patience mm -hmm. or even the, 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 they don't even have the information. They don't even have the data. They don't have the game enough to understand that something can become something so they don't give it the time everybody want quick now I want mm -hmm. I want my version of something that won already yes. versus talk about let it. me see what else is out there that's unique and I can you know that way if it pops you know nobody got their hands in my pocket that's what we discuss all the time mm -hmm. just a personal like outside of work we just sit there and talk about like it feels like there's a lot of bouncing around mm -hmm. to different things like they're not settling into this one thing like maybe this is this is like but that's but, but but that's that is the reflection of you know intellectual insecurity like you don't know mm -hmm. enough so because you don't know enough you move out of fear Versus when you know enough, you'll be more you'll, you'll be more confident mm -hmm. and you'll have more faith and you'll let things become what they're going to become. Could you imagine if a farmer didn't wait until harvest season yeah. and, and it just killed all the crops? They're not growing. Like, bro, just <laughs> like give it a minute. Give it the nurturing, the, the nutrition, give it a and minute. the nourishment. It got to go through the whole cycle, you know? We, me and Alex, we were just discussing this um, before you came in, man. We were just uh, having a conversation about like, we're at the age now where we feel like we know because we've experienced, we've had, we lived and experienced, we've had our, um, we've had that, we went through our trial and error stages yeah. and we still go through it to this day. We're always going to as human beings and as creators and artists, but like Alex, we were just discussing like, we're, now we finally got our age where we're like confident in our abilities and our knowledge and feeling what is, what what is right for us. Not right. just like, you know what I mean? So discuss like, going through like what were the trials and tribulations you had to go through to create your sound find a sound or find somewhere you were just comfortable as an artist I just feel like you know the more that you work I feel like the, the more you, you find your direction I think like when you're not doing the work you're gonna always be stuck you know what I'm saying because but like when you when you out here finding your way you're gonna go you're gonna try different paths like I write produce mm -hmm. uh, I'm an artist put my own stuff out but I had to try different things and see what worked best for me you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so as far as my sound I was finding my sound before I even knew I was supposed to find my sound wow. you know what I'm saying because I love music for real I wasn't you know trying to just get into the industry and just pop you feel me I was like I'm just I know I'm gonna be making music even if don't nobody hear it yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah. so, so you had your passion for it. you found your passion, passion first, first. Mm -hmm. yes. you know what I'm saying okay and um and boom from there like everybody around me just supported me from the, from the very beginning you know yeah. what I mean so um Shoot, I just never stopped. Thirteen years in, lovely, yeah, lovely. You had them days where uh, you first start, you first starting out, 
Or do you do you still have your old notebook so before you started, like before you very first started? Oh, uh, nah. Nah, because nah. I tell you, but that, those 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 first <laughs> beginning moments, boy. Oh my god. I got my I song. Quali when I started. You got the songs? I got my song. <laughs> yeah, I got <laughs> well, <not laughs> trash, but oh no. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, it's just you know, it's funny because you know when you go through this long journey. And you start, I, I look back at a lot of the stuff, stuff you start doing. And, you know, back from the days where, you know, like all of us, we were just writing a notepad. You have, some of us still do. And then you have, you know, transition to the phones and you just realize over time how much better you get over time. Yeah. So now it's like, it's like, it's like riding a bike. So now you can hear a song and be like, oh, I got this. You know, and then some stuff you have to take your, Take your time. You sit back. Like me and Swerve, we make music together. Sit back. He'll say, "Oh, I'm coming back to this, and we'll come Facts. back. We'll come back." Mm-hmm. Okay. Without without I, I, feeling the way about it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, like yeah. Sometimes you got to step away. Don't feel like you less because you ain't feeling it. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like that, the patience is what I had to learn. I don't yeah. have the patience for it. Like, what was? Because it came to him so it right. came to him so quickly. Quickly. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. It, yeah. It, like fate chasing him in the in the booth in the music studio was like, I, it was all at first it was intimidating. Because I feel like I was like trying to compete so much. I'm like, he's not trying to compete me, compete with me on these records. He's trying to like influence me and bring me into it. Why I was so I, it was just like some mental thing that I had to break through myself, right? And be patient with it. And I'm right. Like, now like, bro, I I'm trying it. to remember your verse with you, bro. I'm not trying. I'm like, please like, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, um, tell me a little bit about your uh, your creative process. What do you what do you go through when you listen to a song? What's your creative your creative process on records? Do you are you type of person where some people just go in there and they'll hum some melodies and then come yeah. back to it? Some people write to it first. What is what is your natural creation uh, process? Um, I, I always start melodies first you know what I'm saying mm. but it, but as far as like the song from the very from zero to 100 it's different it depends if I'm if I'm making a beat if I'm a part of the production or if it's already somebody made the beat like if it's a beat um, if I when I start just not being able to stop doing melodies that's how I know I like something you mm. feel me like I, I, I hear something and it could be a dope beat Sometimes I just won't hear nothing, and I, I learn. At first, I just feel like, man, maybe am I not dope? But like I said, over the, over time, I start learning. Like, no, nah, that don't mean I'm not dope. That just mean my heart. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, going ain't, somewhere ain't else. Yeah. Like you feel me? Mm-hmm. Because when as soon as I hear a beat that I'm feeling, I can't stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just mm-hmm. do my melodies, sit right next to the microphone because I record myself too, and boom, you know, think of some, think of words, and boom, record it right then. I don't even be right. be typing it or nothing no more. So one follow up question to that is, what is your relationship like when you first started? You know, you you, you and music make great music together. What are you guys is like when you start first met him and he was working? It was like, yo man, that's music, and he was ready to go. Or how was your feeling when you first linked up with the legend? Like, how was your what was you thinking? I mean, we really hit it off instantly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From my perspective, like we we met when I was working at this record store. Me, um, my guy David Luke, we all met. We met music together, and um, we was like, boom, we got this studio here, and uh, we love to just play some songs and you know see what see what comes. Amazing. We played him some joints. You feel me? He was rocking with him, and he was like, "All right, bet what y'all doing tomorrow?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what's up. He was like, "He was like, we coming tomorrow, eight o'clock, yeah, seven fifty five. They pulling up. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That was follow up dates. You know you hit facts. <laughs> and um, boom, we, we worked the next two days. You know what I mean? And yeah. he probably didn't remember this. I knew, I knew he was a real one because. One of them days, I think, like the AC had the AC unit had broke in the high. studio. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. he was in the, he was in the booth, but when the AC unit went out, he was like, "All right, boom, we just gonna come out in this main room." Yeah, yeah. And he sat there with us, like how we do it. Mm. You feel me in that in the hot room and cranked it out, knocked out two joints. And I was mm. like, "What's up?" That's amazing. And that was eight years ago. Yeah, was it? Uh, was there intimidation? A little bit. Like, now nah, I really felt like. I mean, when you when you first meet somebody like like music, of course at first it's like I just I just want to I just want to represent, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So not really intimidation, but just about like boom, I, I ain't playing, I ain't playing with his time, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because he don't play with his time Talk from then it. till now. So so when we link up, it's like I right, you know it's, it's vibe, it's big bruh, but I ain't playing with his time. Yeah, and I think that's uh that's the currency that we need to play with more. Like this, we need to understand that more as artists, and a lot of people don't understand like the time. Mm-hmm. Like everybody wants the the money, and like everybody knows like money currency, yeah. but like the time and just like somebody dedicating that to you can be way more valuable. Mm-hmm. You know, it's so just like anybody you can pay anybody to just come in and like, oh, I pay him like ten stacks to come through, yeah. yada yada yada. But like, what if he if that that time? Is way more valuable to me, Thanks. in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Like, like, and that's where, like, I, I'm so uh, happy and fortunate about my grind on the wrestling indie scene. Is like, I was like, any promoter that 
valued the time with me, mm-hmm. that felt like okay, I mean, I mean something. Right, you and have the, value. The, yeah, the four hour drive to it, right. I don't yeah. care. Like that's time. Well, your va- your value is being appreciated rather because you have Absolutely. value, and you don't need anyone to validate you. However, it's a, it it. It is different when you notice that your value is being uh, taken into consideration. So, yeah, I feel you. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, so, I wanted to get into something. We we discussed this a lot before. Mm. Um, it was about, we talk about being, having all the talent in the world, but some of the talent doesn't mean you're mentally ready for the business side of what. Oh, yeah. I, I was very not prepared. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh. T- Want to talk about your experiences with it? Uh, I, 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 early well, on, I somebody threw me in in the deep end, and oh, I really? didn't, and I didn't know how to swim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so when you ask me, like, you know, how do I stay focused? I'm just trying not to drown. That's all. Amen. Mm. Amen. I feel you. So I had literally, you know, using this as an analogy, but it's very, you know, uh, appropriate. Like I was literally learning. I learned how to swim by learning how not to drown. Mm. So when I was thrown into the industry with no direction, no sense of whatever anything is, because like I was saying earlier, how the recording process was just me recording songs just to see what that was like. Yeah. To hear myself back to myself because I, I, I've i never recorded before then. You know, yeah, I, it was like one or two times I was at somebody's dad house and the booth was the closet and it, the song didn't really come out that well. And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't, I don't think this is for me, bro. Like, I, I might this might not be for me. I know I can sing, but I'm not hearing myself back the way that yeah, I it didn't think. come back. Like, yeah. But then when I was working at an actual studio, you know, with right. you know the the necessary equipment with a person, you know, kind of micromanaging all the important parts, and then you can then when you hear yourself back, it's like, oh, this is what it's supposed to sound like. Right. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. cool. This is fun. Let's do another one. You know, mm-hmm. and it was right. just like that. And that happened all through 99. By the time 2000 came around, I had a record deal. Wow. Mm. So, Mm. I didn't, and I was very not, I wasn't like super social either. So, it wasn't like I was going to like these events and meeting people and having conversations and talking about my image. And there was none of that. Mind you, actually, I was relatively homeless. I was just, you know, like if I knew y'all, I would just chill with y'all for a little while, you know. And, and if I knew him, I was chilling with, like, yeah. you know, I would just, you know, house hop. And you know, sometimes I felt like self conscious about it, so I would kind of like not want to wear out my welcome. So I would just, I would lean on the city itself, you know, <laughs> good old public transportation. Yeah, oh. just run it back and forth until I get enough sleep, and then I get back up and start walking around. Yeah, till you know, till the sun came up, and it, was, it didn't seem too crazy to be right hitting you up to try to come over and like, see what hey, you got in the fridge, yeah. bro. Like, bro. that's good. Yeah, I've so, had those in Philly too. I was yeah. like in Jenkintown area. So, oh God, wow, you just brought me back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. When they when the when the studio session started, that was almost you know I almost treated it, you know because I was in survival mode. That was a resource. It wasn't just I was going to the studio to record, you know that, that was a meal too. Yeah, you know because we would get up, we would meet, and they know they knew my situation. You know they definitely knew my situation, and they knew you know I mean we could definitely get them. We give them some food, you know. Right. Because I'm not thinking about anything else. Like, I'm just trying to make it through the day. So sometimes they'll be like, yo, so you know, once you come to the studio, I'll be like, I oh, don't know, man. Like, I got a bunch of crap that I ain't got nothing to do. I got a bunch, <laughs> bunch of crap to do, you know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, well, we was trying to meet up at the, you know, at the restaurant. I said, oh, word? Well, which one? You know, um, no, nah, yeah, I'll meet you there. Wow. You know, so that was kind of like my process. And then we would eat and then we'd go to the studio or we go to the studio and they would order food like that's how I was thinking you know I wasn't thinking about I'm about to make the hottest songs ever I'm I'm working on my album like nah that was not on my mind at the time well, I was just trying to get better at recording yeah so they threw the game at you yeah more, so, more, more so so then when I got told I had a deal I was like what do you mean like nobody discussed this with me. Like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, we, you know, the records that you know you recorded, we played them for a lot of people, and you know, what I'm saying we think we got somebody that might want to sign you. I'm like, oh, like, well, 
Def Jam, like Def Jam, like with Russell Simmons. And it was like the Russell Simmons don't don't work with Def Jam no more. Like that. Like, like, <laughs> what do you mean? But that's how much not in the loop that I was. Like I wasn't like my mindset wasn't about being in the music industry. I just wanted to sing. That's why I named my album. Yeah, yep. I just want to sing. And I felt that just from the title alone, I felt that. I'm like, I feel I, I already know what he's talking about. Yeah. So I was literally learning whatever I needed to learn. It was it was on the job training for real. Do you think that and ask you this in your story to the way the first album came out from your journey? Do you feel like it happened so fast that yes. it took you a long time to <laughs> to kind of get to to know who you are as yes. a person? Right. And I think that's that's the thing that you know people have to really recognize too is that some yes. things can happen so fast that you have to stand back and be like, damn, who am I? Yeah. Outside of this. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is that something you still go through now? Or? Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. And Absolutely. it's so hard to like like get a person to understand that because they always like to make a counter argument, but you, 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 man. <laughs> you know what your songs did for me, man? It's like, and that's all they go that's to. dope. And I'm yeah. grateful that yeah. I was able to, you know, do that for you. Do that for yeah. you. Yeah. It, that's, that's so not how it happened on what, this what, side. What the great Raven said, what about me? What you know? About, what yeah. about Raven? <laughs> you know what I mean? nah, well, it's not so much that. It's right. just that, be, you know, and, and I'm, I'm a private individual like because yeah. I don't like crying about my issues I don't like to complain I don't like to talk about oh what was me everybody got a story to tell they got crap that they go through okay and you know mm -hmm. right. life so, was on type ish right however that pandemic sat me down was like no you gotta unpack your crap bro you can't just keep hoarding mm -hmm. all of your issues and using it as fuel like it will burn you out yes it that's will that's true so Amen. I'm gonna need you to Ooh. figure Whatever you need to figure out, or you not gonna make it. So you better start talking about stuff. Somebody out there gotta identify. You can't just keep telling yourself nobody cares. Mm. So you don't get to you don't get to say ouch because you go you gonna look like you weak or you soft, you know? Or or that you sound you you start to sound we talk about this ungrateful. You start to sound disrespectful because yep. you don't get to complain because look what you accomplished. So it's, it's, it's a weird dynamic that I had to like really sit with and try to try to figure out, okay, how can I, how can I still be appreciative of my blessings, but still communicate to people who care about me that I need help? Like, how do I do that? I don't know how to do that. Cause if you, if, if you cry, you soft. If you, if you complain, you're not grateful. It's like, I, I am grateful, but I'm very unhappy. Like I don't know how to like mm -hmm. I don't know how to like fix fix that. I don't know how to do that. And we're in a business where they they don't care, bro. Yeah, yeah. They, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like you you, you, you you still you still gonna show up? Like yeah. right, right. you still gonna yeah. do the show? Like right. <laughs> yeah, you still gonna sing my song? It's like okay. And then like the the musical like the um we talk about like the tough guy act is kind of like gone like. We, in the in the music industry, mm. like we got we kind of weaned off of that the tough guy act. There's a lot of like, like the music nowadays is very it's super emo. It's very emo, yeah. vulnerable. There, everybody lets everything out. You know, Somebody like R and B, yeah. R and B, well, no, hip hop in too. In general, like, yeah, yeah, so, the board. Yeah. I feel like no, hip hop is still some tough guy. I think it's more open where you can be yourself and be vulnerable. Yeah. But I feel like you know overall, I feel like in the hip hop side, it's kind of violent. I feel like the violent guys it's still, but no, are even getting, like attacked more. But but, like, but 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 you gotta like look at it though. Yeah, that violence, it, it, that in itself is a display of emotions. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's yeah. that's emo on a different scale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's you, emo ain't always crying. Oh no, emo is you know the channel. Yeah, the channel differently. Yeah. yeah, anger is an emotion. Yeah. You know, and you know, animosity, like all of that, and you, I gotta get that. Mm -hmm. You know, and it gets very destructive yeah. because, yeah. for whatever reason, you can't talk to that person, and that person is using this platform and this medium to kind of air out their grievances. Yeah. And I don't care who get hit, and if you got a problem, pull up. Word. Yeah. You know, so yeah. To, to your point, yeah, yeah. 
like I feel like DMX was like the best balance of that at the for time. Sure. He, he was, did his best. Yeah. He, I feel like that was probably the best balance yeah. of it. God bless him. Yeah, you know, rest in peace. Man, him, him, and Pop. Yeah, Pac I feel great. like that's power though. Mm-hmm. When you could be all parts of yourself. Yeah, yeah. You like, you like yeah, yeah, I will smack you, but I'm still emotional. I'm gonna hug my daughter too. Yep. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm gonna show up, tell you I love you, mm-hmm. but I will the, smack you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he was one of the first people that were like, "This is the reason why I'm smacking you." Yeah, exactly. Because I'm going through some stuff. Yeah, yeah. I gotta eat. Mm-hmm. She gotta eat. Yeah. Baby yeah. mom's is tripping, yeah. so yeah. I'm robbing and smacking yeah. and doing all this stuff. So yeah, yeah. I'm like, that, I, I, as a kid, I was like nine years old. I shouldn't have been listening to it, but I understood like everything as a nine year old. I understood that pain. Mm-hmm. That was there like, definitely yeah. should be, you know, parameters set and boundaries around, you know, what younger people are exposed to. Mm-hmm. However, you can only, you can only, you can only keep that at bay because life is life. And it gonna get to them one way or another, especially mm-hmm. the, you know this, this this new generation. They got a they got a different software, bro. Like, can't hey. hide nothing from them. Hey. <laughs> okay, you so it's a whole different thing. What do you expect? What are you seeing from the newer industry right now? The current uh, industry, the current industry, the, the younger newer artists, both. Um, I say both. I feel and, like and your side on, on it as well. Mm-hmm. I would like to see both hear both. Um, I feel like in the current industry, I feel like it's just less people trying to. Learn the business. I feel like now we got so many resources where you can you can go to seminars, you can yeah. get on Google. They you can pay twenty dollars for a course, and you know what I'm saying. Learn how to engineer. Do it yourself you, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn how people to go to the library and get a card and then learn yeah. it, learn the software. So I think um, a lot of people they um, they just want that they want to hit it quick. They like mm-hmm. you know they see you know they see it on social media that people's going viral. They like well you know put in the work. Like what you mean put yeah, in the work? They but want they, the instant glory. Yeah, they don't even understand what putting the work yeah, in they is. They have no concept because, of it. Yeah, they think, they think a song just get done. Like you just go to the studio yeah, and, and that's say it. two words and that's it and you done. Yeah. It's like nah, sometimes songs can take weeks at a yeah. time. You got to mix it, yeah. record it, engine, you know what I'm saying? You got to so, go back to it yeah. over and over again. Um, so I think, I think even though it's more access, I think it's more like blinding you know what I mean? I think people kind of blind, you know, like the younger artists. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like the newer generation, just people in general, like the kids, um, I feel like now more than ever, we got to be um, investing in, in the younger in the younger generation yeah, because Ooh, yeah. they got so many influences. Like, you know, they can see everything. So yeah. they seeing the sex, they yeah. seeing the, the violence, they Especially seeing- Especially on social media. Yeah. And, and, and I know they keep, they keep trying to change, you know what I'm saying? They keep putting out new like agreements and that you got to sign yeah. off on. And I'm trying to tell you. keep tweaking it or whatever, it but it's like, dude, it-, it See, Instagram got this thing now. They they talking about they paying people to, for their reels, where they saying you can make up yep. to like eight hundred um, if you get you a certain amount of views on your reels. Yep. But so like you know the Instagram reels. Oh, mm-hmm. oh yeah, the yeah, thing. The okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So like if you get a certain amount of views, they just pay you bonuses. So it's called oh, Instagram bonuses, and they whoa. pay for the reels. So, so that's, I feel like that's why music and songs are getting so shorter, and they're so like because it's food. about them clips, the moments, the full bars. Right. But but to yeah. your point, yeah, you talking about a generation of people. People that the majority of what they know is this quick, fast, instant microwave culture. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that that you but get they get real success from. Yeah. No, it's not sustainable and no. you here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. To be honest, I don't feel like I don't feel like that microwave is success is even what they think it is. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's a lie too. It's just in a sense where you could think somebody just did it like this and they got viral, but a lot of times these folks these really be having teams. Yeah, yeah. And they really yeah. be having stuff but, going and that, on. And, that, and that's yeah. the problem. The game is not being told, it's not yeah. being shown. Nope. So it leads people to believe that they don't need what they need. Right. False narratives. Because they don't even know Facts. what they need. False narratives. Yep. Because they're only going off of what they see or what they're being yep. told. So they yeah. think, oh, I could just wake up, pull out my phone, yeah, da 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 da. I'm I'm a star, right? And it's like it don't it don't it don't work like that. Guys are waking up, but yeah. not a song comparing themselves to Drake and be like, I can't do this. Yeah, no. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like you know, and and also too, like what he said, what music said is a great point. Nobody's giving information. Nobody's telling the information. You got to go through 15 million doors. Well, because make, you know, and I think it's because it's, there's a lot of people that don't know. Yeah, I think there's the people that are creating it don't want you to know either. They then want there you to is keep that. Coming, then yeah. there is that. They want I you think, to keep coming back. But I think it's more so. There's a lot of people that don't know and don't know. True. And and it's like people are just following other people that don't know anything. Yeah, because like he but, he did it. But but there's such it's such it's so open that you can something could pop for you 
even when you don't know. Just do the work. Yeah. You know, you could just do one one or two things and there is a lane for you. No, you, you know, you're going to have to get out of that lane because that's a dead end, but at least it'll it'll give you the the, the instant gratification that you're doing it. Because there's other people that are on that same level with you and like, oh, you here too, so I must be doing something right. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is entry level. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta there's layers to this, man. Like you gotta keep going. You can't just stay here. Yeah. <laughs> like, good job, you showed up, but preaching, all right, keep going now. Yeah. You know, and then they get mad when it's when it stopped popping for them. It's like, did you think that you was gonna keep going right. just like this? doing this? Right. You can't adapt. No, nah, that was enough to get you here. Right, because I'm pretty sure you have a match. You have, you tear it down. Okay, what's next? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. But that's that's why I love like the early grind stage. Yeah. Like I, I don't have to grind as much anymore. That's I'm still grinding, mm-hmm. but I don't have to. I'm not hungry right. and like trying to in like the mud. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not in the mud trying yeah. to like. Okay, my daughter has to eat. Mm-hmm. I gotta get the like pay yeah. my phone bill. Make sure that stays. Yeah, on. you kind of stabilize. Yeah, I'm yeah. stabilized. I'm doing well. Mm-hmm. But like, man, the grind is like what helped me get to like. It, it, it made me know what sur- once again survival that survival feeling you built for that now I'm yeah. built for that everything is like so that's where a lot of us are raised yeah, raised. yeah. yeah. we needed that right so and back, I don't think back, these guys are getting that so back to your point about staying focused I've been in survival mode this whole time mm-hmm. I can understand it because it kept it kept flipping you know, I kept moving. I kept, you know, there was a lot of success and there was a lot of L's, you know. I had to clean house a lot of times. Yeah. You know, I had to move certain. I was learning a lot. I gained, I gained clarity. And I was like, okay, I can't, in good conscience, knowing what I know now, keep moving the way that I used to move because I know better. I would be a dummy if I keep moving the same way that I move. But then that kind of rubs some people the wrong way because, no, just keep it like it is. I don't like how it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was working. It was more. It wasn't really working for me though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody else is benefiting and eating off of it. And yeah, I got mine too. But I didn't get what I needed. Yep. So I need to figure out how to get what I need and what you think is good enough for me. It's, that's, it's not up to you. What's good enough for you may not be good enough for me. Working mm-hmm. with Swerve was the first time I felt that way. Mm-hmm. I felt finally feel validated, like I found something. Mm-hmm. All these years of doing it, you feel. Like you said, you feel, you're just like, man, like, what? okay, I'm not feeling validated. I'm not, he was with me when I first started, you know, getting in the entertainment industry. How do you do this? How do you do that? When me and him got together, I finally found someone who understood me mm. and I understood him. Right. So it's finally someone that I could have a conversation with and talk to. And I said, you know, I finally feel validated that some, because somebody understood. Right. Somebody finally under, understands, you know, what you go through and how I feel. Sometimes that's all you need. That's how, that's how I feel with him. Yeah. Like we would talk and we connect on so many different levels. Levels that we started having conversations. Sometimes we'll have sessions that don't even record anything. We just be talking. Those yeah. be the be on and I be feeling time. afterwards. I be feeling bad. Like I just wasted this man time just because I want to nah. like, have a damn therapy session because yeah. I'm going through some crap. But he like for him for him to be so young and has so much game. I like really appreciated that because it's rare, you know. Mm. And he has he has such a unique perspective, and a lot of it is things that you know. I knew in theory and I kind of understood, but sometimes you need to hear it from the outside because oh, working on something in the vacuum, and you know, mm-hmm. you can convince yourself of anything, you know. Mm-hmm. So when you get that outside confirmation from a source that you respect, it just hits different, you know. So yeah, I, that, that's, that's that's one of the main reasons why we, you know, have have the relationship that we do because I don't have to explain a lot. You know, but I can, yeah. but I could, but I can express a lot, and he'll like receive it, and and not just listen. And I, I feel like I'm just talking, and he's just listening. And it's like, okay, you done? Can we get to the song now? It's yeah. like it's not like that. I get I get positive feedback. I get you know um, a different perspective, and it's just something. It's just something to giving something that you've been working on yourself for so long to someone that you you know respect. And you trust, and they start working on it. It's like, hey, you ever think about looking at it like this? Word. And it's like, oh, no, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> Yo, Lord. thank you. You know, Word to the and Lord it just that. makes everything clear. You know, so he's definitely the relatability helps. Yeah, so he, much. He more. definitely um, contributes that. You know, and and a lot of it comes through in in the music because we do have that understanding. Like a lot of stuff, we don't really explain. Like we just. We just go through it, and Thanks. it's like it's very. It gets real, like 
it gets real, <laughs> it gets real <laughs> magical. And I mean, like, and, it, and then it just happens. And Those then be the like, whoa, with you guys too. I'm well, sure. well, there you go. We we did it. You know, I'm pretty sure you've collaborated with a bunch of people either in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you probably and they probably didn't ask you how your day was going. Yeah, no. And because I'm built the way that I'm built, I don't cry about it. I just right. get to it. You know. Right. Yeah. It is what it is. We don't need that, man. It's like. In this field, it's all about emotion. Yeah, it's emotion. You figure, you you'd figure you'd that think. it would. You you'd think. think that there would be more people that would be, be more, more considerate you. of how you feel when you're tasked with the responsibility of making emotional music. You'd yeah. figure, you but think. nah, nah, that, that ain't always how it turns out. Right. Nah, mm -mm. Uh, it's very rare, very short list. Yes. It's an extremely short list. Until so folks go through some. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, now, but now, but now they want you yeah. to be. <laughs> Emotional with them. Save me. Nah, fam. Why you ain't want me? That ain't why we here. I thought yeah. it was about the money. Nah. Now you want me to touch <laughs> your soul. In, put it in the song. Put it in the song. No, no, put it no, in the song. Yeah. Two choruses. Let's go. You wasting. You wasting. You wasting valuable time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, put it in the song. I can't help you. Dr. Dre's gonna put a drum on it. I can't help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry that you're going through that, but uh, that that, that sounds like that could be a hit. You know, that's that's, that's a good payback. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, get them, get them back, girl. Get them back, girl. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I know. What should be a motto? Yeah, send them vocals. Yeah, send them vocals, bro. Yeah. Uh, so what's your we, publish? What's your so publish? What's, what's, what's your publish okay, information? That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear yeah. that, man. You need okay? Oh yeah. yeah. I know. So about this show. Yeah. <laughs> the 14th so, coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So, but when you run into people that that really, you know, have an invested interest in your well-being, it's, it's just it's just different. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so and it's something that I sensed apparently on a on a on a on a cellular level. You know, when I met him, because like he said, it was instant. It was something about I couldn't explain, like to you to this day. I can't explain it, but it was something about the energy in that moment that I was like, why not? That's exactly because you know, I'm not a, I'm not a social <laughs> individual. I'm not so. I'm walking, I think I just did an interview and I'm just walking down the street and I'm, I happened to be by myself because I was low-key trolling because I wanted to go but the person that I was with wasn't moving fast enough so I do this thing where I just leave. <laughs> <laughs> now you got to come find me. Because <laughs> I waited and you wasn't moving fast enough so I got to go now. I got to use this very well. So I was moving and he just so happened to be in the doorway and he was like, yo, ah, da, 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 and I was like, Usually I'll be like, I got to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't even entertain it. You know what I'm saying? Because I know me. Like, I I don't like people in my face. I don't like people bro in me. Like, don't touch me, yeah. man. Now I got to be this guy. <laughs> you know, and I, and I don't have the time to explain to you why this is very uncomfortable for me. I know you want me to be the, you, I want, you, you need me to be Mickey Mouse right now. But... <laughs> I'm a whole real person and you don't even understand how much you don't care. So wow. let's not do this, you know? So yeah. when I saw him, I was like, ah, this feels a little different. I ain't gonna do nothing but go home and watch some anime and go to sleep. So why not? Facts. Mm. Right. Hey, what do you want? Facts. <laughs> yeah. And he yeah. hit me with the, well, come on in. Facts. Facts. And I came in, I was like, okay. I don't know why are we here like what is this and it's Rex so I'm working at but okay so you want me to like listen to songs at your job nah we got like a setup upstairs I was like wait a minute this yeah. is Atlanta yeah. Everybody and mama got studio. You feel me? There's a studio. I'm sure if you go to a BOA, there's a studio downstairs in the back. There's a studio everywhere in Atlanta. Yeah, that's bro. true. There's an ox court in the bathroom. Bro. Fam. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. Everywhere. So I go upstairs and they had like, sure enough, had like a little setup, had like a, a, a low key legit booth. I was like, yo, you dead ass. He was like, yeah. So I want to play these joints for you. I was like, all right. And he played. He plays some joints. I was like, yeah, I need that. <laughs> hey. As a matter of fact, can we cut that like now? Yeah. And he was like, yeah, we can. Ooh. I was like, run it. And I, I started doing like vocals on it or whatever. 
And I was like, yeah, this is cool. And this was eight years ago? Yeah, eight years. Eight years. Come, going on nine for real. Going on nine, yeah. It's going 20, Man, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is around magic and music time? This was around... What year was it? It was 2013. 13. So, so this that. was this was this was no, this was around the development of music and the magic. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. this was. Yeah. Yo, I, music and the magic. Mm, I, and I, I, I was yeah. in the military when I heard that album. Got you. Right. Mm-hmm. This this a whole this a whole I had the CD. It's I, a whole rabbit hole that. behind that project that Ooh, we Ooh, I would don't love have, to hear it sometime. We don't have time, bro. Oh my we god. We do not have time to get into that. Bruh. We do not have time to get into that. <laughs> like at all, <laughs> God, Cause please. No, we we're gonna get it. Just not now. Like that, oh, yeah, that, oh yeah, oh yeah. I might have to pull I up. I need to know like the that, two this, back, two back. Mm, where yeah. I need to know. Okay, these, these stories yeah, behind yeah. these. Factors. You might not like the story. <laughs> oh, <my Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. Oh, just oh. just you know the shorthand you know is you know shenanigans, man. Just oh, yeah. shenanigans and shenanigans and shenanigans. So. You know, I'm going to be Diplo about it and say sure, sure. shout out to everybody that was involved. God bless you. Word. You know, your efforts and your work and your creativity is definitely appreciated. With that said, yeah. I'll base this cover. <laughs> Shenanigans, man. Shenanigans. So, that was, so that was your first, Shenanigans. first thing into the industry, seeing all this happen. No, he didn't um, have nothing to do with oh, that. Yeah, 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 he yeah. wasn't even a part of that. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, no. Mm. Nah, okay. All right. Um, so... um. Uh, I think I think I think I think Music and the Magic may have just came out or is on its way. Was Music and the Magic out yet? I don't think so. I don't think it was out yeah. yet, but it was probably yeah, it was like like, on its way. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, of being released, cause I know that I know that on my radio came out. Um. I think on my radio came out in 09 or 10. Oh, that was 09 because I that was training and wrestling. And I bought that album. Okay, it was either 09 or 10, mm-hmm. yeah. Because, um, if you leave, yep, yeah, that's a, <laughs> see, that's the thing, man. Like, I'm I'm so grateful that you guys have you know a warm and fuzzy relationship with these records, yeah, but they're extremely triggering for me because Very. of the crap that was going on in the background that I, you know, I don't talk about because I don't want to taint that experience for anybody, but oh, yeah. I don't get I don't have the luxury of forgetting it because it, right, right, because of the process, the process, it's my timeline, right. you know. Mm-hmm. So, a lot of people don't understand, you know, and I'm not saying this, you know, for sympathy or anything like that, and yeah. I'm just that's just a you know, a default thing that happens in my head, and I. I Anyway, it's a whole other story. Them stories, though, I feel like those are teachable moments, like right. yeah. what but, you've but, been but, through. But, yeah. but, but, sure. but, but they, but in, initially, they won't come across as teachable right. moments. Mm-hmm. Right, you I know, feel. they're gonna come across as I'm, I'm, you know, shots fired. You know, mm-hmm. it's like no, I'm not, I'm not trying to take shots. This is what happened. Right, you know, and I and I pushed, I pushed through so much, so I ain't even talk about it, and you don't even know. Yeah, but if I start talking about it. It has the potential of killing the dream for a lot of things. Like taking that wool off their ass. Yeah. Say so ignorance is bliss. Yeah. So now, so now, you know, it's 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 like it's like now now I I I, I added something to something that was you know a, a good experience. Now you can't unknow it, and now mm. you can't go back. Now it's like ah. Uh, I like you know I I wish wrestling fans I, were like this. Yeah, like, you don't like, want to know the story behind this match. Yeah, I like I like I like I like <laughs> this product. Team. That was my favorite match. I like, like this oh. product. You know what I'm saying? And this product, you know, has been a feature of my life. You know what I'm saying for a long time. But yeah. I didn't know that the manufacturing was the way that it went. I didn't mm. know that was a, you know it was it, where it was a sweatshop situation. Like now I feel bad. Mm. <laughs> right, right. So now I feel bad about not knowing. Mm. You know, so it's kind of like it's it's a it's a this this there's there's a lot of there's a lot of you know I'm trying to find a, 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 a <laughs> yep 
We could talk about anime if you like to change yeah, the subject. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's, there's, there, was a, there was a lot of there was a lot of broken eggs to make to make these omelets. I'll just say that mm. there's ah, a lot of broken eggs, man. Right. Y'all don't see the broken eggs. Y'all just get the omelet. Word. You know, this omelet yeah. is amazing. Okay, we okay. just get what's what's received. Yeah, okay, cool. Which is what you should, and which is what I want you to get. Mm -hmm. That's why you never hear me talk about stuff because if I if I talked about what happened, and don't get me wrong, all of it wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. All of it wasn't yeah. bad. Don't get me wrong. All of it wasn't bad. A lot of it was really cool. It's just that a lot of it was really weird. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because people and their personalities and they run a lot of angles and the finesse is amazing, you know, of with some of these people. Like they'll finesse the draws off of you. And and sometimes a lot of people don't say stuff because you feel embarrassed. So you try to like own it, like, okay, nah, nah, I I, I meant to do that. Like I did they got me, but not not really, not really, because okay. All right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got my control. Yeah. You know, you know, when he comes, when he say, when he say, shut up, I start yeah. talking. But when he leaves, I'll be talking, I'll be talking, talking again. again. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> so you, it feels weird, you know. Yeah. And so I, I'm, I'm not the kind of person that like to. I, I don't, I don't operate in the victimized mindset. You know, so yeah. stuff happens, stuff happens. Okay, oh well. What did I get out of it? What did I accomplish? How productive was I? Did anybody benefit from it? Did I impact somebody positively? Cool, then that's a win. Now, how much of that do you bestow on Alex? About protecting oh, I, him from this game. Oh, I give him everything. Like, Ooh, I don't cut nothing out. Yeah, <laughs> I do that with him, and I do that with my homie <laughs> Willie Hen. I tell him every. I don't care, and, I, and then I also put out the disclaimer. Now, look, I'm not trying to influence your decision mm -hmm. or change your mind about nothing. I'm just giving you the game according to me. Now, I could just be an old crappy old dude, mad, washed up, you know, OG, and I need to get over myself. But I'm going to tell you what happened, and it's not even. I'm not. It's, I'm not. I'm not doing it from a sense of, you know, I'm not bitter about it. I'm just being honest. I'm not going to hold no punches because, you know, you sort of got to walk a fine line when you doing publicity work. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, no, nah, I'm going to give you, you know. The real. I'm going to give you the real. Mm -hmm. and, and you can discern what you choose to, you know, take and use and kind of dismiss on yeah. your own. You know, I'm not trying to influence you in any way. I'm just telling you what my experience was and you can kind of take that as a as a as a as a cautionary. Now with that tale. information, how do you go about your career and the decisions you make moving forward with all this? And knowing how like the industry is like st still the same, still has these, mm -hmm. but it's also different in a lot of ways. It's very as well. different in a yeah. lot of ways. Mm -hmm. So you it's still very kinda, much the same, but it's, yeah, but yeah, it's very right. different. In so you got to kind of go about where, it where, where it benefits right. this timeline actually, mm -hmm. yeah. right? So how do you like? You kind of take both. Different yeah, I, I listen to it. Um, I definitely take it in, you know, and uh, receive it. I feel like I, I've been through a lot of trial and error too, and um, I feel like we got similar mindsets on as far as like how we want to be treated, like liking our That's privacy, where it starts, liking yeah. um, mm -hmm. like liking to have control over our life. You know Having what I mean? You talk about mind, being man. the master of your fate, and captain of your soul. Other as people, like, yeah, that, that's yeah. First, so first and foremost. First and foremost, you, you can't say that about a lot of people. Hey, in, exactly, because mm -hmm. a lot of people got angles, man. Yeah, so you know, with me, I feel like I got I got mental blocks. Sometimes I feel like they have kept me. I got mental I got mental things that have pushed me further, and I feel like I got mental blocks that have kept me from building certain relationships. Because you know, I think it's a lot of things in the mm -hmm. industry that may have made me not trust. Where it's be like, that's a little funny. I'm not calling back. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I'm exactly, saying? Exactly. Or, exactly. They're, they're acting a little weird. I'm not yeah. going, yeah. or I'm not signing that. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like. I don't know what you're talking about, you know. So I ain't gonna get into specific details. Exactly, exactly. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it can uh, happen. But I think it's, it's helped me develop a certain mindset where I wanted to learn. You know, what I'm saying I wanted to learn the um, the business and and how to just how to operate, how to maneuver. Where it's like I can set myself up where to live the life that I want to live and make some money. Uh, but I feel like I'm still learning. It's, it's changed so much. I feel like I'm just I'm just still learning. You feel but, me? But but that's but that's the reason why I want to. It's almost like I want to fill in the gaps of what you're, what no one is going to tell you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, and you got a lot of people who are. He's my filter. For who, sure. who 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 actually prey on the fact that you don't know. Yeah. And could inform you and could tell you, but nah, I make more money if I don't tell them. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, I I as a as a concerned citizen and, and having an invested interest in your person who come up in life. I can't sit by and be like, no, yeah, go ahead. I'm like, all right, you can go, but 
You might want to look out for this. It may happen. It may not happen. I'm just saying it happened to me. It might not happen to you, but it could happen. Just a heads up. So at least if it happens, you're more prepared. And if it doesn't, cake. You good. You wow. know. Just wear some armor. Yeah, just you, like when you go out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, um, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't sweet out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's like what we called. Um, what a motivational speaker told me it was my man, one of my mentors. He said like, you got to call it like filtered ambition because some people, mm, I like some, that. Some people will grind and they'll push, 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 but then they're willing to take that advice and that filter. Yeah. Say, hey, don't do this, do that, and then they want to make a move because they just want to get there. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's now, not smart. Right. I'm telling you some game here like this. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> sit back. Wait for yeah, six yeah. months. Because so you know I, mean? I so what I do is mm. I I I be the thing that I wish somebody was for me. Amen. Ah, I was just gonna yes. say that. I didn't I have I didn't, yes. I didn't have somebody. Yes. You know, or at least if people came, it was it was loaded. You know what I'm saying? It was something to it. It was a string attached. It was it was some crap associated with Talk it. Talk about it. I don't want nothing but for you to come up. All, all I want is for you to benefit from it. That's it. I already know the shit. I want you to know it now. You know what I'm saying? And I want you to benefit from it. Don't you ain't gotta pay me. You low key don't gotta thank me. Just use it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, be successful. That's all the thanks I need. Yeah. You know, because now I feel like you know, I paid it forward. You know, I, I, I helped somebody else out, you know, in, in a way that mattered. Like, you could throw money at a whole bunch of crap, but money runs out. Game lasts forever, Ever, bro. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Good man. game? That's mm. got to be a trailer. It lasts forever, man. Oh, I, might, I might get that put in the house. Oh, well, money yeah, runs yeah. out. Yeah. Game lasts forever. Come on. Hyphen music soul child. Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> it's yeah. <gonna> be <laughs> anyway. <laughs> like they say, man, you hide something from somebody putting the information. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have to tell anybody what, what they don't know is what you're going to use on somebody. Yeah, really. You tell somebody the game. Yeah. He's like that for me in wrestling. I got into wrestling. It's just that if you already know, if you already been there, you done took some of the L's and you, you learn from it. It's like the next person that you're trying to help out, it's like, why why make them wait for all the answers? They still got to go make it happen. You might as well just give it at them, throw it at them for free. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You gonna make them pay for it too? They already gotta do the struggle of doing the work, and you gonna make them pay, pay for, for it? Yeah. Like no, you and and and, and 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 I get people. They got they gotta grind. They gotta hustle. However, they need. And sometimes some people's grinding hustle is is selling game. Mm. But a lot of that game Quick consultation, yeah, yeah, be be kind of useless. Yeah, a lot mm. of that game be because you 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 breadcrumbing me, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that within itself is a finesse. I'm not dissing nobody or, or judging or criticizing anybody. That's just the nature of the game. You know what I'm saying? So I like to help people understand, okay, cool. There's a lot of useful information in, over there, but it's kind of like not worth it because you can go find it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't want to do the work yourself, then yeah. that, then, the, then, then then you deserve and that's the to problem. pay for it. Oh, yeah, I think that's man. the issue. A lot yeah. of people then don't want to do that work. Then you yeah. deserve to have your money be taken, your hard earned money be taken from you from something that you can go find out for yourself. You're going to pay for you know it. You're going to work and for again, it. And again, yeah. and again yeah. on that side, I'm not judging nobody because some people ain't got the time. Some people just yeah. ain't got the time. It's like, look, I'll rather just pay for it and just you could just tell me and then I'll do it in my own people time. Want the money but then so other bad, people man. move differently. They're like, no, I ain't got no money, but I need the game. Mm -hmm. Well, fam, that sounds like you gotta go to work. Yeah, yep. right. That just that's what that sounds like. Cause nobody nobody finna give you nothing for free. Week one, we'll start with a microphone. Week two, a pop filter. <laughs> <laughs> Week three, yeah, it's a funny. Four, a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Week five, headphones. <laughs> funny. Week six, make, make sure that you've saved up enough money to get yourself a computer. Oh, everything. Oh, Ooh. interface. Week seven. Interface. <laughs> Week seven. No, we didn't even get to the computer yet. Get to the computer. <laughs> Week seven. Make sure you have a compatible interface. <laughs> you. Week eight, make sure that your computer has enough RAM. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Week nine, make sure it has enough gig space. <laughs> no, everything, that's how they do college. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I went to school for audio. When I tell you, we didn't touch a studio until like almost two years in. You Ooh. feel me? Yeah. You know now, you. now, in that, now, I, I get the concept of that. Of that system I get it Because you don't know Who's entering in At what level So you mm -hmm. start Everybody Like you can't This is That's a fail safe So if you started If you start in that level 9 Or starting at level 1 Everybody get the same business mm -hmm. So if you already a genius It's one of two things You know You just knowing And you gotta be patient Or Why are you here 
Mm-hmm. Why are you here? Since you know so much, why are you here? Go do it then. <laughs> You're the goat, man. But for whatever reason, <laughs> you're here. You're here with him. And so, so now so. you gotta wait. Yep. Word. And by the way, you gotta do grunt work with everybody else. Three hundred dollars a week for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you <laughs> mad, <laughs> kicking and screaming, man. It's some bull, man. I already yeah. noticed them. Why yeah. are and you here? here? Yeah. Yep. Apparently, you're missing something. So wait until we get to the part where you're missing what you're missing. And if you pass this class. You get a feature with Slick Rick's younger cousin. Okay. Right. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Who just got out of jail. <laughs> he wrote... <laughs> but yeah, it's so, it's, it, like, it's quick so Rick. many, it's so many. It's quick, Rick. Quick, quick, Rick. Quick, quick Rick. 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 That's so bro. stupid. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like this, this, this is a never ending discussion because it's so oh, much to it. So oh, and so many layers to it, yes. and everybody is not prepared, you know, to to receive those, you know, different layers because people are wherever they are. Like even myself, admittedly, like there was times, it was people that was trying to put me on game. It wasn't the game; it was the presentation. So I was so busy uh, in defense mode that I couldn't even hear what you were saying because I saw the knife behind your back. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or mm-hmm. I saw I saw the I saw the rope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or I, I, I saw whatever whatever mm-hmm. part of however you was presenting yourself was gonna do me in in the end. So I couldn't hear what you were saying. You're telling me all this because it's gonna benefit you. you in that. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Even eat now. Even <laughs> though by default I benefit. Right. But I benefit so that whatever I benefit serves your agenda. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. It's not, it's not, you're not really looking out for me. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. It's like, you know, you feed mm-hmm. the cow and make sure that it's healthy. But you're trying to, to get a burger it. at the end. So that you can wow. get a healthy burger in the end. You're trying to get that steak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're trying to get that good steak with that good marbling, that good, you know, fat to protein ratio. Wow. Like, mm-hmm. Totally. But you're going to take care of that. You're going to take care of that cow, though. Right. You, you know, mm-hmm. You're going to make sure that it's okay and healthy and it doesn't get sick. You're going to make sure his hooves. You know what I'm saying? Don't get that, you know, don't you get sound, that infection. You like You're going to get a whole guy. You're going to pay for a whole guy to, you know, fix the hooves and get the get all the pus out and the blood out and mm-hmm. put a little, you know, a little disintectant on it, mm-hmm. and antibiotics. Keep whatever. it as organic as you Keep it as organic mm-hmm. and, no, and no antibiotics. Right. But, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, you want to clean it, you know what I'm saying, it's walking again and she's doing all right. When that time yeah, comes, but when the time comes, <laughs> yep, when that time comes, make, make, you know make. what I'm saying. So I just kept You're feeling off like to the grind. So I just kept feeling. That's what I kept feeling <laughs> like. So one day I was like, I don't, I don't like the way that this feels, right. because I don't feel like anybody in here is for me. And then I realized, oh, that's not how this is set up. Right. Mm-mm. This is not set up for them to be there for you. They're there for themselves. Mm-hmm. You're just here be- so that you're somebody, you're just the car or the vehicle that they're using to get to wherever they need to get to. Make no mistakes about it. I don't care about you. You should find people that care about you. Mm-hmm. This is why we And here. you'll get different Thanks. results. This is why we here. And okay. that's why I said in the beginning, you know, you said you want me to talk about how people, you know, get in music and they don't. <laughs> Unless you got a whole lot of bread, a plan, and some homies, don't do it. Don't do it because yep. if you got a plan, some bread, and and, and 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 some homies, you can figure it out yourself, man. Because that's all that's all that that's all that that you really need. It's just that people are being paid to be in positions, but make don't make no mistake about it, they're getting paid, mm-hmm. and they're only going to care as much as they're getting paid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't, you don't need that type of negativity in your life. You sure. need people that care about you and will rock with you and ride with you whether they're getting paid or not because they believe in you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and y'all and y'all support each other amen and when y'all get to wherever y'all need to get to everybody eats everybody eats how often do we discuss this everybody eats camera we say this that's the message the most successful people are telling y'all this I don't know what more y'all need done I mean we say it all the time but it's better when it comes from it's better when it comes from somebody else mm-hmm. I'm just saying come on bro this is a good time to get into some chit chat. What's, ch- what's chit chat? I don't know. Dude. So chit chat, we get into discussions about pop culture and the fun stuff. I don't know that much about pop culture. I don't keep up with a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh, but you do though. I'm low key a hermit. <laughs> but you do though. We had our discussions. 
So I know little things. Little things little get things to me. Here and there. Yeah. yeah. That's all we need. So anybody see any new movies lately, or know of the new movies that are out? Um, um movies, TV movies, sitcoms, movies, movies. Sitcom shows. Movies. Yeah. Oh yeah. We we I watch a lot of shows. Yeah. Movies. I'm trying to see what's the what's the last movie I saw. Uh, Doom just came out. Doom. I, I don't know. Uh, the new James Bond. No time to die. Mm, it gotta be some I just watched. Mm. They run out of ideas with that bond. That's all I'm saying. I'm over Halloween. Movies. I'm sorry. Yeah, I be what? heavy on Netflix. <laughs> you can't even pronounce it. <laughs> Malignant. Ma- 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 Malignant. Got you. Okay, got I can you. see that. I got you. So we wrote a list down. I saw, I've seen a lot of kid movies with my son. So I, I'm okay. Little, Them count too. I'm a little off. Those count. Yeah, yeah. 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 We just saw the new um, Adams Family. That was kind of okay. Cool. We did bring that up. I yeah. dozed off towards the end because oh, yeah, he loved it, but. Okay. I was like after the Lion King. I was like, this ain't the same. Okay. Oh, yeah. did you yeah. the live the live action one? I, I yeah, couldn't I do like, it. I need yeah. the cartoon. I need a little little, yeah. little Timon and I yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I need Jason Weaver. I need Jason oh, Weaver. Yeah. Simba. That's Yo, funny. people don't understand how old that movie is. It's incredibly. Old. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, anybody watching Squid Game? That's the nah, new hot. I, so I started. Game. I started to watch it. Yeah. Because I, I, I like I peeped it. It came out. You know, in my, in my Netflix, whatever. You know they. Be like you know showing you stuff, and I saw the trailer, and it looked kind of cool, but it didn't really like say that and talk about that much. And plus, I didn't really have time to focus on it. But the the the, the art direction and the cinematography looked Ooh. really really cool. So I was yeah. like, okay, yeah. I'll check it out later. But then everybody, their mama started you know posting stuff about it on on Instagram. Mm. I was like, this this about murder? On oh, everything. I'm cool. <laughs> there's, there's some there's some depth to it I'm more cool. than that. It's one of the few shows that lives up to the hype. It okay. does. It does. I'm gonna get nah. like I, I was just I forgot who I was talking to. I, they, I was like, you know what? I, I I I was into it before anybody said anything about it, and then people started talking about like I'm kind of anti that. When a whole bunch of people talk about crap, I'd be that's like, him. Uh, that's him. I gotta catch it. Either. That's I that guy. I don't care no much. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care no more. I don't care that much no more. Yeah. So yeah. I'll catch it when I when I feel like catching it I'm because now way, I feel bro. like. I just I just hopped on a bandwagon and I don't want to be on. Exactly. Yeah. I don't usually do that, but I couldn't help it. Right. I, it piqued my interest. No, yeah, don't get me wrong. It. Yeah. If it's something that I really rock with, I don't care who likes it or who don't True. like it. I don't care if everybody's talking about it or nobody's talking about it. I, I you know I got time for it. But this was something that I was not really all the way locked in with. True. I didn't really know that much about, and I was going to do it on my own. But then when people started talking about it, I was like, uh, this is this is going to get real trendy and memey. So I'm like, oh, it did. I'm and cool. It did. Uh, when the NBA start using it, I'm like, ah, yeah, I'm good. See, God bless everybody, but I'm good. I'll check I think, it out. Later. I think it was just, you know, they, you know, they saying that's. I don't know if it is already, but I know at one point it was on track to be the most streamed show in Netflix, which ever is had. dope. It's dope for the show and everybody mm-hmm. that's involved with it. So I don't want to hate on a come up. Now, but I always say it is like, but as a, but as a, but as a consumer and as a, as a, you know, as a person that likes to, you know. Um, watch stuff and like to feel like I, you know, I came up on something that you know is kind of like a gem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of ruined it for me a little bit. I, don't like, I feel like shows like that doing the devil's work, even though it's, okay. It's, okay. Okay. you know what I'm okay. saying. Okay. I know that's getting deep. Okay, speak okay. on that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, it, go ahead, go ahead. Speak on that it's one. It's entertaining, but I feel like it's entertaining because it's so shocking. Like the first thing you see is 200 people get murdered. You know what I'm saying? Well, it was one of that, one it's, of them. Yeah, coming. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like heavy. the it's game, heavy. the first game. I can tell you a little bit. It's first episode. The first episode, mm-hmm. they playing red light, green light. They that's the thing that I keep seeing. Yeah, they don't even tell the folk they finna get shot if they if they get caught moving. But they don't. But they don't tell them though. So yeah, it's, like, it's, like, it's like shock value. Kind yeah, of it's, it's, it's like. But, but, it, I, but I think the reason why it's you know, it kind of like turned it, me off is that's the reason why I stay off of social media. It's true. Yeah. It's so like, now you're telling me there's a show that has, you know, a similar parallel impact of a social media, but it's all contained and choreographed in the show. But it's yeah. about, it's more oh, about, cool. it's more about like the class of people too. Cause it's not like just like anybody. It's like people that are like hard I out. I said, yeah. I'm cool. <laughs> I was like yeah. that with Wu-Tang. That's why I didn't watch it immediately. Cause I'm like, oh, he, Method Man was kept saying like, there's some stuff in that didn't happen. Word. Like, like it better not be that the way Raekwon didn't say he can write that verse. I better not be yeah, like that. Okay. And yeah. then they start See, that's a, that's a real story with real yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like, like well, a lot of see, so a lot of adaptations of things like it gets a lot of stuff gets lost in translation, and you yeah. got people they they tell their fantasy story rather than the reality. Real yeah, story. you know, they're, what trying I'm to, they're trying to make a good show, and I yeah. get it. And yeah. a lot, and don't get me wrong, like I found myself being really entertained by stuff that I later found out wasn't necessarily accurate, and I'm like. I still like it though. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. that's a good story. Now, I, was like, yeah. I started watching it yesterday. So I'm on episode four already. I'm like, got I love you. This. 
Got you. I love it. Last, that's the last show I've actually, you know, got into like that. One show I think is hella underrated. Okay. Star Trek Discovery. Ooh. Mm, okay. Star Trek Put Discovery. that in the notes. Yeah, big fan. Put that in the notes. Yeah, you Star know. Trek I like the Star Discovery. Trek movies they started doing. This, like, it's literally every episode is like a movie. Ooh. Star Trek Discovery is what the, is the lead is a black lady. Yeah. Yeah. What, what are you watching this on? What platform? Um, it's on Paramount Plus now. Mm. Okay, so yeah. that might be on um, pr- uh, Prime. Yeah, it's so Prime Paramount Prime. Plus. So they they just got picked up for a fourth season. Ooh, oh, they four D. Yeah, nice. they four D. Wow, mm. it's amazing. Star Trek Discovery. I'm gonna step on. I'm gonna jump on that. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, Star Trek yeah. Discovery. Okay, so and now now like, oh. I just okay just. <laughs> The Disclaimer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's mind blowingly open, open. Okay. So like, Lovecraft Country was like they open with an open mind. Everybody keeps saying that, and I still haven't watched it yet. Now that is everybody open, keeps open. saying like, "Yo, you," they, and people that know me be like, "You would like this." Yes, you would. And I'm like, I yes, don't know. You would. It's like the perfect. I might give mix. it a chance. It's a good I'm mix. The same way, bro. Yeah. It, I might give it a chance. It's a good mix of like the sci-fi with like the African American. And I'm really sci-fi. I'm really I'm this, really African American. So it's I, I like that. That's and I think that's why they was like, bro, you will like this, bro. The first two minutes is Jackie Robinson with a bat knocking Cthulhu. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> are you serious? That's the first two minutes of the movie of the show. I promise you. That just remind me of some another one anime. Invincible. Invincible? Incredible. Invincible. Yeah. In- yeah. You watch Invincible? Invincible? I haven't seen Invincible. Ooh, oh. Incredible. My son watches it. Invincible. Okay. He should not be watching Wait, that show. How old is your son? Yeah. Uh, 10. I don't want to say you're a bad dad. <laughs> That's not me, though. It's funny. It's with his mom. And I'm not going to say that you're a bad dad. It's with his mom. <laughs> I would never. He said he watched it. He should not. On record, it. he should not watch <laughs> no. that show. Thank you for telling me. My that, that would be goodness. I'm However, tell you about this. However, he should watch that show. It's amazing. <laughs> Yo, nah, these kids watching Squid Games, they can watch anything. You watch, Squid yeah, Games. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. At that point, yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. At that point, but there's more substance. Okay, I'll look into this. There's, there's so GTA. much substance in Invincible. Like, it's, it's, a very, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very good coming of age story, and it's it's, 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 great. it's really, I think, I think what's so ill about Invincible is that it really takes rooting for the underdog. On to a whole, it's it's a whole on a whole nother level. Yeah, it does. It's on a whole nother level. Yeah, invincible. Is, it, I love is, the play on like he's invincible, but he keeps getting like yeah, yeah, beat yeah, up. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah, play yeah, on yeah. that. And then the twist with okay, I don't want to spoil it. No, 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 I'm no, about no. to spoil it. No, nope, no. Nope. But I, dog, I'm going. To, I'm touch base with you. Love Craft Country. Yeah, I'm gonna Bruh, check it out. You I'm gotta check it do out. it. The sci-fi in it is like mind Got blowing you. to a point. Got it gets you. to like Got celestial you. stuff. I'm watching this new show. It's on Apple Plus. Oh, okay. It's called Foundation. Foundation. See, I don't have no Apple Plus stuff. How do I get to the? How do I get? How can I watch Apple Plus without having any Apple products? Okay. Is that a thing? I'm sure you could just get the. If you don't <laughs> I just Apple. download it on my. Ah, <laughs> oh. I, I feel wrong putting Apple Plus on my Samsung TV. Something doesn't. Feel I don't right know about enough that. to know if you could if you could participate in I'm Apple sure Plus without Apple, Apple products. I don't know. You got a Mac computer? No. I don't do Apple. I do Apple products. It's, uh, we were doing so well. I know. I'm sorry. That's no, it's fine. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not prejudiced in that way. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. You. You know. Do you? My tag partner is. He hates us all. I don't know. Shout out. Like Shout I, don't, out. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know enough. Maybe I don't know. Maybe check the check the Google I'm a, I'm Play see Store. If I can see if they have an equivalent. Maybe they got a player that you can stream. Apple possibly. Stuff. I, don't I don't engineers know. like I don't that too. No, if what I'm saying makes Tease any like sense. That. See, I've been like, or, or find a homie that do, and you know, hey, let me let me cop that yeah, account. Yeah, real quick. yeah, yeah. Let me cop that account. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I've been but, seeing a lot of shows been popping up yo, on Apple Plus that look fire. That look fire. Yo, 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 <laughs> yo. <laughs> Yo, talk. I want to say so much, but I can't because you got to see it for yourself. Yep. And they're still putting out episodes, which is running my blood. Because <laughs> I'm a binger. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I got to wait for the next episode, bro. It's so annoying. Have you it's- watched, uh, given that's like into like relationships and stuff, have you watched the show You or heard about it? I do like uh-huh. You. Yeah. 
I don't like that's you. Funny. That's funny. I don't, I don't like, like, like you. <laughs> you specifically. I don't like you. You, don't you like and you. your Avatar Last Airbender shirt. I don't like you. Hey. Oh, you know, man. He likes you, but I don't like you. Hang is the homie. Oh, Core is pretty dope too. Core. Yeah. I watched. I like I, the last anime I watched fully. Like that was new was Parasite. That Word. was dope. Yeah, they made, they made a live uh, a live uh, adaptation. I don't know what it did was, they. Uh, yeah, it's 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 Ooh, it is looks it, bananas. Is it as heavy? It's as? different. It's it's darker. Oh, it's Jesus. darker. Parasite it's, was fire. Yeah, yeah, incredible fire. Parasite. Anybody Parasite that don't Parasite's know, pretty cool. Mm-hmm. You, um, You're not the Bong Joon Ho movie though. No, 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 no. no, no, no that's no, a great movie though. Yeah, no. Parasite. Movie. So Parasite is 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 an anime about these parasites that came down to earth. Mm-hmm. And they burrowed in people's brains or whatever, and they try to take over the host. They essentially eat your brain and then take over. But this this one kid, you know, um, he couldn't get in his brain, so he went in his hand. Mm-hmm. And they had they they beca- they basically had a symbiotic relationship where you know it's almost like venom a little bit, kind of like venom, but bit, not not so you know violent. <laughs> yeah, you know, venom is not trying to eat everybody. No, I was gonna say, have you seen I mean, the parasite the upgrade. Upgrade is great. Or did you That's see the new? Did you see the new? I did. Give me the. He had like the. Uh, what was yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was fighting yeah, everybody. Yeah, he didn't yeah, have control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was hard. I Upgrade saw, was hard. Yeah. That, yeah. that yeah. joint is hard. I like Venom. I was like, yo, you gotta watch Upgrade. Upgrade was, was hard. Like yeah. 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 So that's what Parasite is like. It's like you're talking to the. Yeah. But instead of it being the AI, it's a, it's a, um, yeah, yeah. Did y'all see the new Venom? They become homies, but he gotta go to sleep. But he gotta go to sleep. I didn't see all. And you can't wake him up. That's that's the best part. That's hard. Like. Like this, and homie yeah. got to figure it out. Yeah. They're like, oh, there's another one coming like t- 100 meters from now. He's getting yeah. closer. He's getting up oh, sleep. Oh, you gotta like, go sleep. Wait, and you can't wake him up. <laughs> you you got to go to sleep. Yeah, he has to crazy. sleep at least three hours. So he has to like. Another anime yeah. that's super dope. Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone? Okay. Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone. You don't do animes as much? No, no I, certain ones I've seen. But there's okay. a lot. <clears throat> but Dr. A lot Stone is it's, it's very like, it's super nerdy, okay. but it's super right. cool. Oh, it's super cool. Something happened, and I need a list. It basically, you know, turned everybody into stone. (laughs) And this one genius dude broke out of it, and he was keeping count the whole time. And he figured how long that they were down, and it was like I think hundreds of thousands of years. He was counting the whole time. Yo, and um, then he started trying to like, um, um, um. Reverse engineer what broke him out of it so that he can break everybody else out. Of it. Oh, that's, it's, hard. It's, that's it's, hard. That's it's, hard. It's, it's super that's hard. And they get into like a lot of like science. I don't, I don't know enough science to know how accurate it is, but it sounds cool. <laughs> it sounds cool. Yeah. And they have ramen in it, so they figure out how to make ramen without the necessary things that you know we have so, right now. So. Did you mess with the Hero Academia? Yeah, yeah. I kind of fell off though. Yeah. Because I, I got distracted because I, I I had I was trying to um I was trying to finish One Piece until I found out fin- one one piece is not finishing so <laughs> they keep making yeah they do episode. they do they do they, 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 I never going. watched it but I still going One yeah. Piece man One Piece a lot of people love One, one piece. piece One Piece you got to commit though yeah I heard yeah they up heard. to nine hundred I think they up to I think they broke a thousand. Maybe, Damn. maybe they did. Wow. Damn, Definitely. Simpsons. Last Dang. I checked, they like never start watching Family Guy. Yeah, I can. A handful of movies too. Did you ever watch um, Detective Conan? That's Detective like, Conan. Yeah, it's one up there with like one of the longest running animes of all time. Mm-hmm. That one's definitely got over a thousand episodes. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah, you know, I, I know I DBZ's up in there too somewhere. Jane Wazi got to be. If they yeah. still make a new episode, the Super Super's a whole different adaptation, though. You know what? And I that's wish, hard to keep up with. At this you know point what I now. wish kept going, but I, I don't think I, I, I keep googling and trying to see. I don't know what to believe. Hunter X Hunter, man. I yes, yeah. yeah. They said it was good. Just started that like a couple. Please weeks ago. stay with it. Yeah. yeah, I heard that's please great. Please stay with it. It gets a little weird, but please stay well, with my it. My favorite, uh, one of my favorites, is Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu was great. So, because of that, I'm now starting to get into that. Oh, I love Yu Yu. I I didn't know about it. Yeah. (gasps) Yu Yu was great. I'm watching it now. I'm watching it now. Yeah. Oh, that's a great story. It's pretty cool. The first Origin Tales is like my favorite. It's pretty cool. Oh, my God. Have you you got to the Dark Tournament yet? Dark Tournament is hard. I don't think I got to the Dark Tournament. Dark Tournament is hard. Yo. When you do, you'll know. Okay. Yes. Dark Tournament is so hard. Gotcha. It's so good. Yeah, I miss all that stuff, man. Yeah. All right, video. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Kaisen. That, that's pretty cool, too. Yu Yu Hakusho is yeah, incredible. Gotcha. You know, I haven't watched it in it's years, though. It's classic one. It's classic. Yeah, it's very old. Yeah, it's you know, you know. It's cool, though. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it goes way you back. You know about Jujutsu Kaisen? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's up? You know about Juju? Jujutsu Kaisen. No, I do not. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Put me on game. Pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> um, what's the other one? Uh, fire. What's it called? Fire. What's it called? Fire Squad. I was gonna say Fire Emblem. That's a game. No, 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 no. no. Fire, fire, and Nintendo just actually kept that. They, uh, uh, How to do? With, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Fire Emblem Twelve. That. Actually, I heard about that. Yeah. Um, it's nice and apparently, that'll take like an hour. My roommate. Fire Force. Mm. Fire Force. I need Fire Force. I need it. Fire Force. So you need Fire Force. You need Jujutsu Kaisen. You need Doctor Stone. Doctor Stone. Yeah. I'm gonna hit up yeah, yeah, yeah. immediately. Yeah. And Foundation. You said. On, oh, on Apple Plus. Yes. yes. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll find a way. I, the story is just so ill. It's so ill. It's so cool. I can't even like All right. start. Real quick. Mm. If <coughs> okay, before we wrap up, I want mm. everyone to give just one recommendation that everyone just must watch. Either a must watch. I just gave you like. I just gave like. He said, "I gave you five, ten. So, TZ, what Everything you got? Everything I said. <laughs> it was all good. <laughs> all of it is fine. Yeah, she was like something. That, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Out of it's, everybody. Every, it's every, so all of it. Yeah. Everything mentioned, or if you want to mention Well, it, Well, yeah. I'm going to consider Lovecraft again. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, Please. Lovecraft, Lovecraft, was it Lovecraft Country? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, I'm going to consider that. And I might I might try Squid Game. I might. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to definitely mm-hmm. check out Lovecraft because I've had enough people tell me that. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a little late to the party, but you know, I'm sure it'll still stand. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna check that out. I'm going to try that foundation. I'm gonna find a way to find it. And then Mr. Stone, Doctor Dr. Stone. Stone, Doctor Stone. I'm gonna get on Doctor Stone. Foundation is a live action, and Doctor Stone is an anime. I'm I'm gonna jump on. No, no, no! Before that, no Star Trek Discovery. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Star <laughs> Trek Discovery. <laughs> like, hold up, wait a minute! Star Trek Discovery. Start yep. there. Were you, is this your first Star Trek, like, kind of jumping into it? Nah, I still, so I'm, I'm OG Star Trek and Next Generation. Okay. Next Generation I used to watch. So, Deep Space Nine, I was in and out. Um, all the other ones I didn't really Galactica. follow. Galactica, I didn't really follow it too much. Um, cause I was, I was kind of more so I was lean, I was more Star Wars leaning. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of like, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Whatever. Uh, well, you want to talk about the Star Trek universe physics? Like, get into that? Cause we can that really stuff, go there. I mean, it got better, but yeah, it's like, really? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> how how does that even work? It's very simple. Yeah, concepts, because yeah. because Star Wars was more you know um, you know hero villain driven. Exactly. Whereas though Star Trek was like, this is what life could be like around this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it dealt with day to day issues. Morals. You know. Yeah. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It was more ahead of its time, it, and it yeah. was also like dra- drama, more yeah, drama, yeah, 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 TV yeah. drama. Yeah. What would you say? What was your um, you um, want to check out? So. I, get, I don't know if this is like half of one because it's only one episode out so far, right? Mm. It's this new show um, called The Wonder Years and okay. Don Cheadle is the narrator. Oh, yeah, yeah. just like the old school Wonder oh, Years. Yeah, I heard Fred about Savage. this. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. made a black version. Yeah, no, you know I, I'm saying? definitely, yeah. Heard about I heard about this, too. I like, yeah. yeah. I've like seen the concept, concept of it. So like right now it's only the pilot. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got to check it out. Like, no, they touching totally, on, some, yeah. on some race issues. It's like, yeah. whoa. You know, that was pretty clear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's all positive. It's all positive. Because you know that those are going to be the concerns. Like, how will that work? Okay, let's address as much as this early. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so that it looks really good. I um, think they low key did that with uh, with uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier a little bit too. Yeah, I love yeah. that show. Mm-hmm. I loved it. They kind of did that with that. Like nobody wants to see a black, Captain America. But that. even Star Wars, yeah. I saw John Boyega talking about that. Oh yeah, no, that was like that was like real political behind the scenes crap. That wasn't like a narrative they were trying. Yeah, no, yeah, that's a whole other whole. That's an animal. Yeah, absolutely. That's 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 a horse of a different color. Yeah. <laughs> ah, too soon? Too, too soon. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, what would you say? Um, from recommended by one of my good friends. I started watching Dope Sick. On I Hulu. heard of that. I don't what know was that this one? It's, uh, it's called Dope Sick. It's on Hulu. And it's uh, basically about these doctors are finding 
It's like about you know traditional medicines and stuff. There's a lot of drama behind it. Though. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a different version. It's like house times five. House was the big. It's like house yes. times five. So if you in, if you in the house, you Ooh. might be into this. Yeah. Like okay. Dope sick. It, it's fire. You gotta check it. That's on Hulu. Gotcha. And okay. I just started watching the first couple episodes like last week. And just seeing what like the doctors are going through, and you know, find, trying to find these ailments, and gotcha. you know, they're actually talking about like for the first time, you see people actually publicly talk about like, like natural recommendations. It's a drama show. Word. It's a mm. drama show. Though. Word. It's okay. Like Grey's Anatomy. Right. It's, okay. It, okay. Exactly. Okay. It's a really good show. It's a bunch of doctors. You get to learn different characters. Okay. See how people respond to different things. Okay. Different doctors how they respond, but it's like a lot. Of I drama. like that. People, Got it. It's a lot of inter stories and stuff, but. Got it. It's it's a, it's a great show. It's a it's a Great show. Speaking of Hulu, there's another cartoon on Hulu called Solar Opposites. I'm a, okay, my, my, into, my homie told me about if that. If you're into one. Rick and Morty, that one. Oh, okay. you're gonna love Solar. Oh, I know opposites. what Solar Opposites is. I did see like one episode of that. Solar okay. Opposites is like it is funny. It's weird because without telling too much, it's 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 kind. It has like a it has like a turducken kind of like thing happening with it yeah it's it, it's, it has a narrative inside of a narrative he yeah, does that I, I can't talk about you gotta watch it yeah it's crazy I like I'm yeah my recommendation Handmaid's Tale I've been on hands, Handmaid's Tale okay. it's really I like it okay I like it it's very good <laughs> no 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 no. no. I'm gonna shoot it down it? I'm just saying it's nothing interesting about no it's, it's pretty interesting okay. it gets pretty okay. when you get dive into it I'm like okay, okay this is wild and I'm like mm. alright and Mary Beast Town I, I went through like I watched the Emmys and so I, all these shows that were winning the awards I was like you know what let me, let me give it a whirl out. and I ended up like diving into Mary East Town and I was like this is actually pretty interesting <laughs> It takes place in Allen, uh, PA. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. got you. Like in Allentown. Got you. Yeah, so I was like, okay, there's some good stuff. Um, before we wrap up, we have to give a shout out to Give Kids the World. We have Music Soul Child donating this commemorative oh. item right here, sir. Yeah, it's an official yes, sir. New Era uh, Soul Star collab. Uh, Feel the Real. At. Yes, sir. The logo of my latest album, Feel the Real, a 24 song uh, epic, <laughs> if you will. That's work, bud. Uh, so it's a lot of work on that album. Work, man. Um, and I had the full intention of doing a big rollout with merch and crap, you know. However, you know, the pandemic had other plans. Oh, oof. So, for a lot of people, this was a little late coming, but it finally came. <laughs> and, um, That's so cool. you know, um, I was requested to present something, and I'm pretty proud of this. So, I'm nice. proud. I'm happy and yeah. honored that you are donating this to Give Kids the World, yeah. a charity that we are working real close to, nice. helping sponsor this entire. Uh, oh, nice, cool. Yeah, so that's what's up. Yeah, thank you, Give Kids the World. We'll be um, giving this to Give Kids the World. Shout out Omar for setting everything up. Thank you. And um, he's going to be signing this, autographing this. We're bringing this to you guys. He's going to be. We're going to be auctioning it off, and whatever the proceeds, they go to Give Kids the World to help cool. kids with nice. terminal cancer. Cool. And just giving time, energy to all these kids that may not see the next holiday, so right. they're going to give it to mm-hmm. them early. And nice. it's I've been to a couple events. I'm going in December. It's a really great event. Oh, cool. Yeah, so thank you guys. Man, this has been an awesome time. Alex, Absolutely. shout out Alex. Shout out Music Soul yeah. Child. Shout out Alex. Yo, shout like, out Child. Promote, tell them where they can find your music, what's going on, what you got coming up, man. Yes, yeah, sir. You can find me on, on all social media, Alex on the board, L-E-X-O-N-T-H-E-B-O-A-R-D. How let your boy. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And TZ Scott, what we got promoting, man? man. We got um, what we just dropped. Man, we just dropped. All right, freestyle. Uh, All right, freestyle featuring Mickey Fax is now out. Oh wow, okay. We have dropped um, yesterday. That's my man. That's my bro. I love him. Um, shut it. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's funny. Turn the camera to yourself. That's funny. Yeah, hop in the camera. Hop that's in the show. Funny, bro. He's <laughs> Since we, shot, shot since we shot, <laughs> since we shot, since we folks out, <laughs> no. um, who, who shot? Who shot? Who shot it? We have the. Uh, That's we funny. have shout to X. Shout to X for X editing. editing. Great like, job. Like, great, love you, bro. Miss you, man. Um, we also have uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, as within tomorrow, when by the time you guys see this, it's all new record slow. We'll be on all digital markets. You guys can check that out. You can check it out now if you want to. Featuring Kelsey and, Lynn. Uh, shout out Kelsey shout Lynn. Out Kelsey man. Um, be in this game a long time you know you hear a lot of music and a lot of people just be like eh she's dope mm-hmm. so uh, shout out to her shout out to everybody that we've been working with um, November 1st um, my new record Ego Slide is coming out make sure you amazing. that 
Amazing. Um, and, you know, stay tuned with what we got going on, man. It's been a great longevity oh, yeah. of us working together. Oh, yeah. Since uh, the last episode that we had with Rashad Evans, shout out Hall of Famer, UFC Hall of Famer Rashad Evans, uh, I got drafted to SmackDown. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. I'm like, oh, Let's go. I did some stuff, too. So, yeah. Nice, nice. So, um, yep, uh, working right under Vince McMahon. Shout out okay. Boss, Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, all them. Let's go. It's really cool. I'm in the locker room with those guys. Yeah, man. So Great. It's Get to a it. Get amazing to it. time, man. Amen, um, brother. Music Soul Child. Oh, yeah. What you got coming up? Let's talk to them. Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> right now, I'm just maintaining. I'm still in it. I show up wherever they ask me to show up. As long as I got the chance. Um, hey. and, okay. Um, <laughs> hey, just trying to, you know, keep it productive. <laughs> trying to keep it productive, you know, for the culture. For the culture. Yeah, so. And for that, we going to say, be confident in everything you do. Yeah. Wash your ass. Okay. And right. do your homework. And we're done. <laughs> <laughs>